Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire. In today's video, we are coming to take a look at a new track released by uh, Victoria Renzi and I think featuring Natalia Basi and Dunsino Ikan and the title of the song is See How Far. The song is a very, very, very simple, very simple track in the key of F sharp and that's what we want to look at today. We will look at the song itself and the simplicity aspect of it and then we will do our own stuff with the song as well so i believe you you saw from the cover like i played the song itself and then i started doing my own things so we will explore into that so quickly let's dig into today's lesson so like i said we will be in the key of f sharp for this lesson so let's quickly take a look at the scale of f sharp the f sharp is your one or your do the a flat is your two or re d flat or a sharp becomes your me or three b becomes your four c sharp becomes your five or so then d sharp or e flat becomes your la or six then uh, f becomes your t or seven okay so we have then the progression of the song is very simple it starts on the two or your re to the do then it comes to the la or your six then to the five it comes to um, two, three, four, or re mi fa, then two, five, or re so, then do, okay. So it's basically two, or re, one, or do, then la, so, then it comes to two, re, three, four, five, then one. Yeah, okay, so you see, the, uh, the, the chords attached to the song is nothing difficult at all. So, um, on the two or on your re, we have this chord. Now, we, we, we can even expand on the chord itself to make it a little bit richer. So, what I have on my left hand is the A flat or G sharp or your re and then your do. Now, what, I'm, what I have on my right hand is what? Fa. Then uh, la, re, fa, or four, six, two, four. Yeah, so this will be the two. Then to the one. The one is just a regular F sharp major chord. Okay, so it's like one, one. And then I have five, one, three. So two to the one. So like C, alpha, then to the six. So the six I have the six and then the one or la and then the do in the form of a stretch on my left hand and then still on my right hand I'm playing the same one chord I played for the one so we are repeating the same chord over the six so it's like um, two I see how far then to the six to the C sharp major chord which is the C sharp and then in the in in terms of the scale of F sharp, here will be what five, seven, two. Okay, so then to two. Now we are we are going in terms of the melody. We are playing the chord in terms of the melody. So here's a two. Now the two we see I have the same two and then a one on my left hand. And technically we still have the same chord, but this time I've taken away the B notes, so we have we are left with this. So the same chord we played initially, but we are taking away this note. So on the second two or your second re, this is what you play. Then on the me or your three, you play the same one chord again. Then to the four. Now look at the four. Uh, we have the, the B major chord, and this is a complete B major chord, right? So the B. E flat, F sharp, and then B again as your four. So we have two, three, four. Then uh, I like playing this chord just to go with the melody. All right. So, so uh, after this, yeah, an E minor ninth chord. A flat, sorry, A flat minor ninth chord. So I have the still I have the same structure on my left hand for the two which is the two and the one and then I have the three four and 
they don't have what the six or the B flat B E flat. Okay, so I can quickly play this two chord to the five. And this time, what I what you have on the five is an F sharp major chord, and then I have the five on my left hand, which is the C sharp, and then on my right hand I have the F sharp first inversion. Okay, so B flat C sharp and F sharp. Then you play the original five, which is the original C sharp chord, the second inversion of the C sharp chord, which is the two, five, seven. So you have noticed that I'm, I'm mixing the names of the keys, the tonic so far, the number system as well. Yeah, very good. So I hope you get used to all the three because it will help you. One. Okay, so let's combine everything together. We have the one, then the same chord on the six. C sharp major, then we have the two, three, four, then we have this beautiful chord, the A flat minor ninth chord, two. Yeah, now there are a lot of interludes, and then and, 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 uh, I think Victor Razor sang first, from there there's a short interlude, and then from there uh, one of the guys sang first, and then another followed. But the progression was the same throughout. So at a point, uh, I wouldn't say boring. The song itself is very spiritual. Sometimes you have to keep it as simple as that. Okay. But here on this channel, we like to have fun sometimes. After learning it the original way, we try to take it to another level, right? So let's see what we can do. Um, let's, let's try some few substitutions here. So I think I, I, I did... Um, So let's try that one. So it's, it's still the same two chord, but this time I'm converting this two chord into a suspended fourth chord. With a B source four, with then what? An, an, an E source two chord. So still my left hand is the same. Okay. So what I'm doing on my left hand is this. I play this two and the one, and then I quickly come to the five. So it's like this. Okay. So. And from here, I come to the 1 and the 7 together. Then I play the flat 5, which is the C. So it's like. Yeah, so you can try it on the left hand alone. So, what I have on my left is the first chord over the 2 is this. Then I will drop this F sharp note down by a semitone. So it's when I drop the F sharp note down by a semitone, that's when I play the C sharp notes. Okay, so it's like this. Okay, so see. So you have noticed that as I drop the F sharp notes, I maintain the rest of the notes on my right hand chord. So I have I come to. So what I have under one. Right hand is what? It's just the, the 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 three octave, which is the B flat octave, with the F in addition. So I'll play together like this. So I have B flat, F B flat. So I'll do this. Then I'll quickly take my hand from the B flat, and then I'll play the E. Sorry, I'll take I'll quickly take my hand from the F, and I'll play the E. So it'll be like. And this is very simple. This is very very simple. Just do this. Take away the F. Play the E. So we we play this chord together with our one and seven or oh, the F sharp and then the F, right? Then we come to so the E and the C are going together. So it's more like um, this. Then the F and the C sharp go together. I come and play the one like this, and then the E and the C go together. So try it. It's a very nice movement. That is like the middle uh, notes that we are playing. I'm doing the wonders here. Okay, so C, the one, they come to the seven, right? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, there's a six before the, the five. So we do... Um, Do 
do the sex. Or still, if you want to play it, my lord, the guy, then we'll do the sex. So let's try the six instead. So I have the six for the E flat, B flat, F sharp, right? Or you can say the G flat. And then I have the B flat, C sharp, or D flat, F, B flat, for the sake of the melody, okay? So we have uh, the six, two. Now we won't go to the five, we'll go to the seven. This is a substitution that you can learn and then do with your band. As uh, after you have played this, one, two, two, six, five. Now you can do two, five, one, then flat five, which is the fee to the six, to the seven. So what I have on the seven is the F, C, E flat, and what I have on my right hand is what the A flat, C, E flat, A flat. Okay, so. There's a lot of things I did, but I'm even confused as I'm, as I'm playing. Then you can do it. So we can do from here, from the seven, you can go to a five. All right, so from the C, from the seven, you go to your five. Now look at what I have on my five. I have the C sharp, A flat, then E. If you can't do this, then the C sharp and the A flat, with another C sharp or D flat, is, is fine. But the right hand chord is very easy. We have the B, E flat, E, and then A flat. So play this together or do this. So you have. And then they come to this. They come to. Okay, so from five, one, two. Okay, so five. And then what I have on the one is what? One flat seven and then I have the B flat E flat uh, G and B flat so then we come to our two again we already know these two then we come to this chord we have done this movement to as well okay then the next C what the Lord is it C is it C what the Lord I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused now um, but I believe we know the melody, so it's um, so let's try this one. So, for or the next one, we'll go to the two, but technically, we are playing the same chord, but our bass note is the flat six or tall key. So, yeah, so it's basically, we are doing a flat six. We are repeating the same basic triad, our uh, one triad that we used earlier, but this time over the six. This time it won't be over the one, but it should be over the six. So, flat six, or we can do this chord, you know this chord already to the six over the one. Then, uh, instead of playing a six, we play this one, we play this two chord, this A flat 13 chord. So, I have the A flat, D flat, and then the G flat or F sharp. I have the C, F, B flat. So we go like um, then yeah. So I'm doing this. I'll show you very soon. So from the from the G come to our C sharp, which is our five, right? So on the five, I have the C sharp and then the A flat, and then I have. B, E flat, and then E flat. It's our five chord, right? Then I like doing this. Uh, on my right hand, I like dropping the E flat down to the D, and then uh, I'll drop the uh, F sharp down to the F. So, you notice, so it creates this beautiful sound. So, I have this chord itself, then I'll use this finger to drop the F, F sharp down to the F. This uh, note is already on my index finger, so I just have to do this. And then I'll take away my A flat note. So, so um, so you can try it. So 
Okay, so um So these simple simple stuff really make your play very different, very unique and very beautiful. Then you come to Five. Now we are we are we repeating the we are, we are repeating the same chord over the two, and I believe we have already done this, right? So from the five, just change your bass note to the two, as you have already done, and then you play this um, E flat seventh chord, which is the E flat, and then the G, and then on my right hand I have the C sharp or D flat the minor seventh chord, which is the C sharp E G and F sharp. So we have. More like re la or two six two. We already know these two, right? So if we combine, if we combine everything we have done so far, it will be. Here. I think I, I started reading it in the key of A flat. So in the key of A flat, then I was reading it like four. See, this is the scale of A flat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So I think I started I, I read it by playing the four, three, two, then six. I think I came to this is a two again two no I think I came to the three then flat five to the five let, let, let's let's do the chord and see so on the four I played okay this is a chord I played on the four so uh, as usual we have done this left hand bass uh, notes which is the C sharp and then the A flat now remember we are in the key of A flat now it's a transition I did. But take a look at it. Uh, the melody in the key of F sharp was on the B, right? So you see, I'm still using the same melody I used in the key of F sharp, but I'm playing the progressions, the actual progressions in the key of A flat. So this can be very tricky. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm reading it in the key of F sharp. This. What I have on my right hand is the E flat, F E flat, and B. So you can play this as a four in the key of A flat. Yeah, then I like using this as my three in the key of A flat. So what I have is what? Now we are in the key of A flat, so let me read it in the key of A flat. I have a three, seven, two. And then I have five, two, sorry, five, seven, two. So it's 372 versus 572. So the C and then I come to my two chord, still maintain the melody that we use in the key of F sharp. So I have um the, the, the two six one in the key of A flat, and I have four six two, right? And I come to the six. Yeah, so this is our six in the key of A flat, which is um, the six, and the five, and what I have on my right hand is the one, four, five, one key. So now this is creating a, an entirely different atmosphere because we have uh, shifted into a new key, but but it's like at the same time we are still playing the melody. Yeah. So it might it might sound a little bit weird in your ears. It's like you can't tell whether it's wrong or right because why the melody seems correct but the progression seems very weird. So this aspect of the song is very advanced, right? Then I came to yeah. So there's a two in the key of E flat, which is um, two six one. Then I have the three, four, six, one. Still maintaining the melody, right? So, or you can also do. I can do this three chord, which is a three, and then the flat six. Then I have the two, five, one. Then I do. Yeah. So the melody is still intact. 
intact. So I have the flat 5, flat 7. Then I have the 3, 6, 2, so. Now we play our 4 again. Then 2. Okay, we have done this too, right? I showed you this too earlier. But, but we have omitted this A flat note. So we have. Now this time we play an actual 5 in the key of A flat, which is the 5 over the 4, which is a C sharp, F, and then A flat, right? So we have. Then we finally end in the key of A flat. Now this was very intentional, it wasn't part of the song. I started playing in, in uh, E flat uh, from this. Then, uh, what did we even do again? I can't even remember what I played. Well, then we went to the uh, E flat. careful we wouldn't even note that I'm, I'm actually in the key of a flat right now yeah sometimes in cases like this if i don't tell you you may not even notice that i'm in the key of a flat yeah, it can be very tricky as a matter of fact uh, i was suffering a little when breaking down this song if you watch the cover very well and then you watch you are watching this tutorial you clearly see that there are a couple of things i didn't play that i played in the cover that i didn't teach let me put it that way that's that because i can't even remember what i played but why can't i remember what i played because i just sat down and as i was playing i started thinking differently so i can't even remember how i was thinking the truth of the matter is if i should play this song again i will start playing different progressions yes and this is all by the grace of god okay so if there was some a certain chord or a particular movement you heard in the cover that I didn't break down sorry um, just go back and then watch the cover and then you can pause it or you can slow down the video and then get the progression there very well but if I remember it was just the last part the last transition that I, I went into a flat the rest of what I played was in F sharp it was, it was just the last part that I came into a flat okay so with this being said I would like to thank you for staying with me in this lesson subscribe if you haven't Turn on notifications. Like I told you, in the year 2023, a lot of wonderful lessons will pop up. Yes. And make sure we expand the kingdom of God with our talents that He gave us. He gave us. Okay. Yes. So let's meet in our next lesson. And God richly bless you.